This has been an amazing year of discovery at Johns Hopkins Medicine, and we're bringing you this special edition of In Case You Missed It to highlight 10 of our favorite stories from this year. With $17 million, Johns Hopkins will open a new center to study the emerging field of psychedelics for new therapies and wellness. It is believed to be the first in the U.S. and the largest of its kind in the world. There is something in mosquito spit glands that blocks malaria transmission, and our scientists have found it. It's a barrier that can help scientists develop new ways to prevent or reduce malarial infection. Using genetic tools in mice, our researchers have found a pair of proteins that control when sound detecting cells, known as hair cells, are born in the inner ear. The finding could one day lead to treatments that restore hearing. Parkinson's disease research has been focused on the brain, but in a new study of mice, our scientists have found that the disease's origins may be in the gut. The researchers saw that the proteins linked with Parkinson's disease travel from the stomach, up a long nerve, and into the brain. For the first time in the U.S., a Johns Hopkins team transplanted a kidney from a person living with HIV to another person living with HIV. It's a feat that was in the making since 2013, when Johns Hopkins experts inspired federal laws that remove barriers to such transplants. In a first-of-its-kind study, Johns Hopkins researchers reported on pregnancy frequency and outcomes among imprisoned women in the U.S. They say it's a much-needed first step toward developing consistent guidelines for tracking the numbers and improving maternity care in the U.S. prison system. According to Johns Hopkins researchers, a new protocol for half-matched bone marrow transplants could offer a better chance of a cure for patients with severe and deadly inherited blood disorders, including sickle cell anemia and beta thalassemia. In proof-of-concept experiments, Johns Hopkins researchers have implanted electrodes in both sides of the brain of a person who is mostly paralyzed with minimal sensation in his hands to enable him to have some mind control of motorized prosthetic arms. Johns Hopkins researchers discovered a never-before-seen white blood cell that they nicknamed the X cell. They found it stimulates the immune system to mistakenly attack and destroy healthy insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. The researchers believe that this autoimmune reaction may be what triggers type 1 diabetes. Johns Hopkins scientist Greg Semenza, who discovered how cells respond to low oxygen levels, was awarded the 2019 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. The discovery has far-reaching implications in understanding the impacts of low oxygen levels in blood disorders, blinding eye diseases, cancer, diabetes, coronary artery disease, and other conditions. That's it for 2019. For a new year of research and discoveries, follow us on social media and visit us on our newsroom.